Hi everyone, it's Ed Johnson here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a website banner in Photoshop CS 1, 2, 3 or 4. Um, I'm going to be working with gradients today, I'm going to show you how to do the basics on gradients, text, text effects um, and I'm going to show you a quick small glass effect just to add that special touch to your quick and easy website banner. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to open Adobe Photoshop. Just wait for it to load. And then you want to go to File, New or Control N. You want to select the pixel size. I've chosen 800 by 100 and make sure it's selected on pixels. Click OK and there we go. It's loaded up. I'm going to quickly zoom out just to show you guys um, a more complete picture of what I'm designing. Uh, so I'll zoom out. There we go. Um, and there we go, you won't see the whole thing, but you see most of it now. Um, now you want to click on the photo bu uh, bucket, paint bucket, and hold down. Click on gradient, and go to the top. Don't forget you can pause any of this if you want. Select the gradient you want. Try light on the, uh, try light on the left and darker on the right. Um, and now you want to hold down on shift, uh, drag it down, uh, hold, drag it down, and let go, and then l let go of the shift button. Shift just allows you to keep it um, a straight line so it's a straight gradient. Now we want a new layer for the font so just click new layer and now go to the text tool select the font that you want I'm gonna have Dawn Pen um, I think probably you can change anything later or you, you don't have to go with the same font as me obviously choose whatever font you want here uh, I'm gonna type in this is my first Photoshop banner um, uh, yep, this is my first Photoshop banner. Um, I'm going to change the font just to make it a bit bigger. Um, actually, I'm not too keen on this font. I think I'm probably going to change. Yeah, I'm going to change. I'm going to change the silo, which I downloaded um, off the internet. I'll show you a tutorial later on how to download and install fonts. But I'm going to change the silo. Change the size. So I'll get what I want. 28 is probably. Yep, 28, I'm going to go for. Um, and now centrally align the text, um, or roughly centrally align the text, <coughs> I add text to the end just so I can centrally align it. Don't worry about this, just just make sure it's in the centre, if that's the effect you want on your Photoshop banner. Uh, maybe you want it to the right, maybe you want it to the left, just whatever you want, just drag it around until you get the right effect for what, you, what you're looking for. There we go. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to do a quick glass effect. Um, oh no, actually wait, I'm going to show you how to add um, styles. So drop shadow, you click, outer glow, you click, I want to select white, there we go, OK. 100% opacity, um, that just adds a really nice glow, glowing effect to it. Uh, gradient overlay I want now. Click on the gradient, select the one you want, I'm going from a uh, a light grey to a white um, click OK and there you go, there's the effect on the text you can see it's kind of glowing on the outside roughly um, and now you want a new layer and I'm going to show you how to do a quick glass effect you can make it a lot better looking this is very, a uh, very quick um, way to do it so elliptical uh, tool you want just drag it over there we go, you'll see you'll see it selected with lines moving across. Um, this just sh shows the selected layer, um, the selected section of the layer. Now you, you want to hover over that and go back to the paint bucket tool um, and click that. Make sure it's on the white colour just to deselect it. There we go. Um, and now you want to change the opacity on the layer, that layer to 10. And there you go. That's a really nice subtle glass effect which you can add to it. You don't have to add it but it just I like it more it just gives it a great effect so there you go that's how to do your first website banner on photoshop i'll be making more tutorials where i'll show you more of these but there you go that's the effect now to file now now to save as select any format you want png gif whatever i'm selecting png because i like it i'm saving it to the desktop you can save it to wherever save it as banner i'll save it as save uh interlace none okay um, close, no I don't want to save it as an Adobe Photoshop document and there you go, that's how to make your quick and easy Photoshop banner and here's the final effect and the final outcome of my banner 
have a go with it, play around and enjoy.